Mr. Speaker, I rise this morning to inform this honorable house that during the week of August the 30th, 2021, a number of Bermudian, Bermuda agencies received training in disaster victim identification, known as DVI. Mr. Speaker, as a direct result of the air crash incident training conducted in January of 2019, a gap was realized that Bermuda and all of the other overseas territories had in disaster victim identification. To assist, the National Disaster Coordinator approached the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office with an application for this DVI training to be delivered across the overseas territories. Mr. Speaker, the DVI process is an internationally recognized sequence of activities that has been developed over several years. It has been tested in large-scale disasters in many regions across the world and has proven to be a reliable method by which victim data in the form of post-mortem material can be matched against missing person data. The aim of this matching process is to positively identify human remains. Mr. Speaker, Bermuda was lucky to receive two instructors, Mr. Howard Wade, the VE, and Police Superintendent Pete Sparks, QMP, from the Disaster Victim Identification Team, which is part of the National Police Coordination Center and sits under the National Police Chiefs Council. Mr. Speaker, they trained 15 students, 12 police officers, and three regiment soldiers who received three full days of training as on-the-ground practitioners in managing any victims, scene preservation, and evidence. On Friday, September the 3rd, four hours of training was delivered to the various commanders of the agencies that would be involved and staff with specialist roles that are in touch points for the scene investigators. This included the Deputy Governor, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of National Security, Police Commanders, Regiment Commanders, Coast Guard Commander, Fire Commanders, Bermuda Hospital Board, MASH Casualty Team Commander, Interpol Officer, Family Liaison Officers, Property Management Team, Police Training Center, Police Doctor, Chief Dental Officer, Pathologist, Morgue Manager, Foreigner's Office, Foreign Consul, Diplomatic Consuls, Safety and Health Managers, Public Information Officers, Bermuda Red Cross, Bermuda Civil Aviation Authority, Bermuda Airport Authority, and Skyport Corporation. The coordination of the training was completed by the Disaster Risk Reduction and Mitigation Team, which sits under the Ministry of National Security and in the, the Emergency Measures Organization. Mr. Speaker, over the last 40 years, there has unfortunately been incidents around the world that has involved loss of life on a large scale. These have included air crashes, industrial explosions, fires, acts of terrorism, as well as other types of incidents, including natural disasters such as hurricanes and tsunamis. Fortunately, these incidents are rare, but this doesn't mean that we should not be prepared. After each of these incidents, an inquiry will take place which resulted in many recommendations being made. Mr. Speaker, these inquiries have shaped disaster victim identification into a discipline which follows the recommendations made and includes the provision to be honest and as far as possible provide accurate information at all times and at every stage to the families and friends of the victims. Be respectful to the deceased and to the bereaved. Have a sympathetic and caring approach Act professionally and diligently to avoid mistaken identification. Mr. Speaker, Interpol has mandated that one of the most important requirements for victim identification is the application of international standards, which aims to promote a consistent and widely understood approach, especially in multinational DVI operations. Mr. Speaker, I would like to thank both Howard Ray and Peak Sparks for providing their expert advice based on many years of experience and also to the Foreign Commonwealth Development Office for sponsoring this training. Mr. Speaker, the Disaster Risk Reduction and Mitigation Team are now crafting a DVI response plan which will outline Bermuda's coordinated multi-agency response 
Should an incident ever occur that requires a DVI response in Bermuda? Mr. Speaker, the work of the Durham team is important in ensuring that Bermuda is prepared for any large-scale disaster. I will continue to update this honorable house on this work and the important work of the departments and the units within the Ministry of National Security. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.